Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Louise from Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this morning I'm having a look at um, one of the plants that I brought back from Bangladesh, uh, which is a jujube or buroi plant. This this is the plant here. Um, doesn't resemble much of anything at the moment. It's just like a, a, a dead twig. And um, when I got it, I ordered this um online in in bangladesh because this nursery was based outside of dhaka where i was staying so it was delivered and when it was delivered it had a couple of leaves at the top which were were, were yellow anyway and they dropped off so it wasn't really full of lush green growth or anything like that it just arrived as is and at, at the time i didn't complain to the nursery because the, it, the following day my husband was rushed into hospital so I couldn't you know really focus on that at the time so anyway I brought it back as it was it looked dead but um, I thought you know I'll just try see if I can bring it back to life anyway it's been um, undergrow lights and um, I, I potted up in this yoghurt pot because I didn't have any other t pots at the time uh, Johnny Ness and a bit of um, lacquer in there just so, to break up the heaviness of the Johnny Ness soil and um, just recently noticed that they started to um, come back to life now this is a grafted plant and if you look closely, if I can focus, just below where that growth is, there's like a little diagonal. You can see there, if I can, that's the graft. So this is just above the graft. However, this little green growth there, if you look right down at the base, there is also growth appearing. Obviously, when the sap rises in a plant, if it's got an outlet, it, it'll go to the nearest, you know, it's not going to race to the top, it'll appear lower down the trunk. Well, that's what's happening here. Now, I don't know what this plant was grafted on, whether that was a um, jujube plant, a more mature, mature jujube, I don't know until the leaves form properly. I won't know if this is the same, you know, the uh, this rootstock is the same as um, the the plant here. Um, I don't know, but uh, this definitely appeared above the root the rootstock. And further up the plant, as I say, it looked really dead. If you look there. The, the bark exposed you can see it's brown and you think well yeah that's that's pretty dead however um if i just turn it around a little bit there are little points on here it's a bit hard to focus let me ah right here a little bit of green there I don't know if you can see it's definitely a little bit of green popping out there and I think I saw on another point ah yes just turn it round here put my hand behind You might think I'm imagining things, but yeah, there's definitely a little bit of green growing there. Now, it's very, very slow because I saw this green growth a while ago. You know, the little blobs. So it's taking its time. However, when I was in, in Dhaka, um, I did a video just before I came back of the rooftop garden. I think it's labelled Last Stroll around the rooftop garden and it, within the first couple of minutes of the video I focus on a jujube you know a buroi 
um, tree that looked very dead. And for the whole time I was there, it did not, you know, it was like this. But black twigs, uh, very brittle. Um, so when you broke off a branch, it was very brown inside. So the gardener was going to cut that down because it looked dead. And um, within a couple of days of that discussion, um, if you have a look at that video, you'll see green growth started to appear a lot later than the rest of the rooftop garden plants. So whether that's typical of a jujube, I've never grown jujube before, so I don't know. If you are um, growing jujube outside of a tropical zone, if you're growing it here in the UK and you recognise that pattern of growth, then or maybe that's not the that's not the case. Maybe they they shouldn't you know uh, completely drop the leaves. I don't know. So let me know if anyone else is growing jujube, what they think about this um, rootstock here and um, this growth here. For comparison, I'll just bring in the jujube that I bought um, from. Oh gosh, what's the name of the the company? I forgot the name of the oh Jurassic Plants. So this is the jujube I got from Jurassic Plants, uh, Zazifus jujube dong. Um, that's starting to come back now. I've kept it on the dry side, not watered it too much. I don't know whether I should. Um, so yeah, so pleased with this it's definitely alive um and i say i don't know about the rootstock there if that's actually jujube as well you know if it's been uh, grafted onto another type of jujube um we'll just have to see if the leaves look very similar or not so there we have it jujube so thanks for watching everyone take care bye bye